Hello friends, welcome back to another video. We are going to be cooking and painting our nails today. So if you don't know, hello, I'm Kayla. Typically I just do nail content, but I really also enjoy cooking and most of you um, also like watching them. You ask for them a lot. So I am cooking dinner tonight. I'm making kind of like this stir fry thing, but it's pretty basic. So when I add in other veggies, um, or when I add in my veggie, you guys can add in more. I'll show you all that in a minute. But basically it's gonna be like a pasta, corn, egg situation. And I know that sounds really weird, but this is what I used to get at a place called Mongolian Barbecue. Um, we don't have it anymore. And honestly, it was pretty easy to make. So I started making it. I am gonna make two kind of servings because it reheats really well. So I'm going to make a little bit extra and have lunch tomorrow. But yeah, let's cook. I am starving. Um, please excuse my, my, my me. I got out of the shower after a workout and now I'm just really, really hungry. So I'm gonna show you all the ingredients and get cooking. Okay, so here are the main ingredients. I use just like a salad. Okay, hopefully my fridge is not being crazy. I use a salad rotini, which is basically just like a little spiral noodle. It's pretty much the best one for this recipe because it holds on to things really well. I also use this frozen corn. Um, I just really like it. And then some garlic and the Better With The Bouillon um, chicken stuff. So I'll show you how I make this. It's really like spice heavy as far as ingredients. So um, yeah, let's just make this because I'm starving. Okay, so pasta water going. I will put a recipe down below because to be honest with you, I don't have a recipe currently for this, but I'll do my best. Um, over in this like kind of bigger pan, I'm going to put in this olive oil spray. This, and, and this is nothing to do with the recipe, but just any kind of oil down in the thing. The spray has less calories than the oil, and um, we are watching our calories. So I'm gonna throw some oil in there, and then I'm also going to put in the garlic and the corn because I want the corn to start steaming, and that takes a longer than like everything for some reason. So I'm just gonna get the garlic in here, and I'm trying to remember that I'm doing two like servings, so I'm gonna put quite a bit of garlic. And again, I'll try to remember and make this like a recipe that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this so the corn can like, I said, steam and get warming up. I am gonna throw this pasta in because this pasta for some reason takes forever. Um, it's one of the longer cooking pastas. Spices, definitely salt, pepper, pepper, salt. Um, this Ajika, where are we? Hello. Ajika Georgian season from Trader Joe's has been my absolute favorite. It's so good. Highly recommend. Um, I also put in some fry season, which is like uh, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. So all the goods in there and some Cajun. So I throw all of this stuff in towards the end um, or towards, I guess, when like the corn is almost done. So yeah, lots of spices. I honestly will try my best, like I said, to recipe that out. Um, I don't think I put anything else in last time. So we will go with these. I'm also gonna have a glass of wine because I want to. This is a um, semi-local winery a little bit south of us and it's just a Fidel Blanc white kind of everyday wine. Once the corn is kind of doing its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this. This is like basically the flavor and the sauce kind of, but um, I do add a little bit of butter at the end, kind of a little sauce. 
trying to remember that I'm making two and add a good amount. Okay, the corn is getting all nice and lovely. The pasta is almost gonna be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the spices. Just a little bit of salt, cause everything has salt in it. So don't need a ton of that. I do enjoy a lot of pepper. And try to go a little easy on the spices, spices, but I also do really enjoy spicy food. A little heavier on the fry seasoning because it's not salty or spicy, it's just flavor. And my favorite, the Ajika, I try to go a medium on this just because it is kind of spicy, but oh my God, it smells so good. Is seriously one of my favorite things I purchased from Trader Joe's, so highly recommend. And I usually just do a little bit and then I add more when I get the pasta in and I can like kind of see how everything's looking, but I also wanted the corn to like get a little flavor too. So I'm gonna let this continue to sit until the pasta is done and then we will assess the kind of spice level then. All right, obviously I have added the pasta. You drain it just like normal. Um, mixing it up a little bit just to get everything looking good. Um, gosh, I feel like I want to eat all of this. I'm so hungry from the workout. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit and make a little hole now bear with me friends because i know that this is gonna be weird i don't think it's weird a lot of um, people and dishes ask for this but bear with me we're gonna turn the heat up get the middle a little bit hot and um i think i need to actually add four eggs hold on yeah two eggs i need to add four eggs to this okay so I'm getting the middle a little bit hot just so that the eggs can get in there, but four eggs to this recipe. Um, I don't really know what the other recipe is, but I mostly do this for protein, um, but it's also really good and it kind of stretches the meal a little bit too. So yeah, I don't know a lot about children cause I don't have them, but I did, I do have a lot of younger siblings um, and I know kind of what they eat and I also eat like a child. I feel like a child could enjoy this. The egg gets broken up, um, kind of a lot and it's similar to like scrambled eggs. So really it's just pasta and corn. So if this would be something your kid would like, maybe try it. Just letting those kind of cook up a little bit. And again, like I said, I'm going to add some more spices because if you can, I spice my food based on look and I'm looking at this and it looks real kind of dry and like not flavorful. So I, so I will add a little bit more spices once I get everything mixed together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a few, um, maybe like, like a tablespoon of butter in here just to kind of get the noodles to have a little bit more texture. And basically I'm just kind of scrambling the eggs in the middle here. Um, I try not to get the noodles in there, but that doesn't usually work. So I just get everything scrambled up in here. And again, ideally, I mean, this is kind of a one, one pot dinner, minus obviously what you cook the pasta in, but for the most part, it's a little one pot dinner, which is nice. Let those sit again and get delicious. And then we're just gonna kind of mix this all in together and eat dinner. I am starving. Once I feel like the egg is mostly cooked, I'm just gonna mix everything together and get it all looking amazing. Like I said in the beginning, you can add way more vegetables to this if you would like. I just don't prefer a lot of veggies, so um, I just do this. And then obviously a protein of other than egg, but again, 
not my favorite. So I'm just making this with stuff that I like, but um, you can make literally anything. So now I'm gonna throw in more spices. Obviously, if you're giving this to children, don't add the spicy spices. Unless they like that, I don't know. I don't know your kid. No, it probably doesn't look um, like much as you're going like through the recipe. But once you get to the end with all of the egg and corn and pasta, it really does um, kind of come together. And again, if you added more veggies and stuff, so it's a relatively inexpensive dinner. And you can feed like a lot of people with it. I am going to... Mix in this butter a little bit. I am making a mess. Mix in this butter a little bit and then add the top on and just give it a second. Make sure all the egg is done and cooked and give it a little steam. I am gonna eat those. Just give that a second while I clean up a little bit and get my plate ready. I'll probably have a little bit more tonight than I will tomorrow just because Tomorrow's is gonna be a lunch. All right, friends, so there is dinner. Um, if you try this, let me know. I hope that you enjoy it. I really like it. It's actually one of my favorite, like fairly quick, but also like really kind of flavorful, hearty kind of dinners. Welcome to the part of the video where I actually paint my nails. Hopefully this angle is okay. I feel like it's like, weird but I'm still figuring out angles with my new tripod so um, currently I have on lemon milkshake from fancy gloss and I'm going to be putting on aardvark from dimension nails this is a gel polish it's kind of this oh, are you kind of this like pinky something or other um, I'm just gonna put this on for a couple days because I did a reel showing this peel off base kind of, uh, what am I saying? Like system, I guess. And a lot of you were asking about how it like removes, like if it's actually a really good peel off base. So I'm gonna do this like combination here um, and just wear it for a couple days and show you all the results over on Instagram. So if you're interested, interested in that, head over there. But first, ugh. <sighs> the dreaded maintenance part. So I need to remove this. I have like so much dry skin. Um, I just actually got out of the shower, which is usually when it's at its worst, but I'm going to remove this polish, probably do a hand scrub just because that really helps. And I will put on oil after I um, finish my manicure. Wow, they are really bad. I didn't realize how bad they were. So let's go ahead and get all this taken off. All right, so I took my polish off and I used this KB Shimmer Sugar Scrub in Deep Cashmere. Um, I honestly can't remember how much this was, but I do think it was really good. And I mean, I've done a lot of scrubs and I may be like, maybe halfway done with it. Um, there are a lot of scents on the website, so it's a little overwhelming, but the Deep Cashmere um, smelled really good. Kind of smelled like, like man, like warm, um, I, yeah, like, like warm. It smelled like 
cozy and warm and kind of like like it's at like deep cashmere like very cozy and such so i do um i did enjoy i do enjoy that scent i'm still using it but i am going in with some cuticle remover now i still have the same <laughs> cuticle remover that i had like years ago it's a giant bottle of uh blue cross cuticle remover and i am still using that I am using this medical cuticle pusher, but I'm thinking about switching to a glass one soon. Um, I just need to grab the one I've had on my list on Amazon for forever. But I'm just, I don't know, I don't feel like the metal one is doing my nails any favors. I do like it. I think it's fine. I just think that sometimes I'm in a hurry and I'm not using it very well. So I think the glass one will be a little bit better with that but yeah still doing this fucking maintenance i hate it so much like if i could choose any nail superpower it would just be to have my nails at the length and shape that i want all the time never have to worry about moisturizing and never have to worry about cuticle removing and if i'm being completely honest it would just be the cuticle remover part I mean, like, if I could trade anything for just the cuticle remover part, I would. Whew, okay, it has probably, editing-wise, looked like two seconds. Uh, real life, it's been forever. I hate doing all the filing and crap, but must be done. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my nails, get all this stuff off. Oh my gosh, my nails are so crusty and gross. I'm just wiping off any oil or anything on the top of them and then I'm gonna go in with that peel off base um, this manicure is gonna be pretty much the same as any manicure um, as far as gel just with a peel off base so I'm gonna be using a LED lamp mine is the one from Zoya that you get in like jelly cure system um, I'm going to Use the Madame Glam Peel Off Base Coat and cure it for 30 seconds. And the way that I do my gel is I do these four fingers, these four fingers, and then both thumbs. It just works out better for me. I don't know why, but the Peel Off Base works just like a regular base coat. Just going to apply it and try not to get it on my skin. Do a thin, even coat. The polish I'm going to use is Aardvark from Dimension Nails. I think I already mentioned that, but just to mention it again. Um, Steph did send me quite a bit of gel polishes from her brand just so I can do kind of like a review like it was PR but I have the intentions of doing kind of a review slash like swatch party comparison thing of these because these are the um, only polishes that she's able to ship internationally so I wanted to do a video for oh, my international friends and show you some Dimension Nails. But let's go ahead and see how many coats this takes. I prefer to do three thin coats of all, almost all of my gels just because that's what I'm more comfortable with, but they don't always need three coats. I just, that's just what I'm more comfortable with, like especially with the lines and everything because once you cure the gel, you can't really change it. Um, so I try to do like really nice coats. So this is kind of turning into like a gel <laughs> review, but I don't wear gel a ton. Most of the time if I do wear gel, it's just to get like a quick drying manicure. If I have to go somewhere, I'll do a quick 20 minutes and they're dry, but I don't typically wear like a full on gel manicure with like the base coat usually it's the peel off that I'm wearing unless I'm doing like a weekend trip or something and I want to make sure that my nails look nice 
don't really have time to wear gel. But I love them and I do really enjoy having them for the peel off option. Okay, so there's one coat. It's pretty sheer, but my lines look pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this and then keep going. And then I'm just going in with the regular top coat from Dimension Nails. Again, just applying a thin normal coat. And for this, I cure for a minute. So 30 seconds for everything underneath. And then for the top coat, I go ahead and cure just for a minute. I'll do a more kind of in-depth, I think I've already done a gel video, but I'll do, I'll do a new one. Again, like I said, I'm gonna be using a lot of these Dimension Nails dimension nails gels um for a little bit so i'll do another thing and then i'm hoping to do a wear test on like a full wear test video on both the peel off and the regular gel but i just really don't like using the regular gel it just takes so long to get off and i have an e-file i just don't love using it. And then I'm gonna move on to my other hand. Again, I just do these first four fingers and then I'll do my thumbs. Okay, so here is, what is this polish? Aardvark on three coats. If you wanna see how it peels off with that base coat, it's gonna already be on my Instagram before this video goes up. But yes, that is that. If you try the recipe, let me know. I'll try to put it down below with like actual real measurements. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.